What is going on guys, my name is 4G or on this channel, Mr. Supply Drops. Today, I wanted to make a quick video talking about this brand new throwback bundle. Now, this is supposed to be a bundle that contains two different weapons that sound and are trying to look like MW2 weapons, the original MW2. I hate that these two games are named the exact same thing. So now I'm going to be trying to say in this video, MW2 2009 or MW2 2022. I got to go back and forth. So whatever, it's just stupid the way they do things nowadays. But either way, it's honestly a pretty cool bundle it's just unfortunate that it is $18 man I'm not spending that if you maybe charge $5 500 cod points Activision you might have got my money but now you get nothing because 1800 cod points aka again about 18 US dollars is ridiculous it's two default guns they barely look anything like the original MW2 weapons if we're being real they don't really sound like it either apparently that's because of the fact that the uh, the original MW2 because it was older, all the weapon audio is compressed, so now they can't really use that in this version of the game because it's a newer game, newer engine, whatever. I don't know how exactly that works. To me, though, the original sounds are the exact same. Yeah, of course, the graphics of the original, the, the graphics, the visuals of these original COD games look very dated compared to nowadays, but but at the same time, uh, the audio doesn't really sound that different to me. I, it feels like maybe I'm just, you know, hard of hearing. I don't know, but uh, it sounds pretty good to me. How about you just copy copy and paste it from those games instead of trying to recreate them. They did that with Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered as well. And, uh, I mean, at least that was a little closer to what uh, to what the original sounds were like. But either way, these weapons don't look anything like the original one. Oh, I mean, okay, I guess kind of, but they don't feel like it whatsoever. And the MP5, like, you couldn't have had the iron sights at least changed a little bit, just rework it. Like, they couldn't have done that, the bare minimum, make it a rounded iron sight instead of this cut-off stuff. Which is why I don't like the MP5 in this game is because the iron sights are cut off and I, I, just, I just don't like that. I don't know what it is. It throws me off. I got to use a red dot when I use that weapon. Uh, but either way, this should have been free, but there is some extra stuff with this stuff, okay? There's some extra sounds and it's just... This is the only reason why I would even have considered getting it if it was like a reasonable price. And that is because of the fact that when you get kill streaks, it has the exact same sounds from the original Modern Warfare 2. And I think that that is awesome. So when you get a UAV, it plays that same sound. You get the nuke, it plays that sound. Uh, when you spawn in, it has the five second countdown where it goes five, four, three, two, one. I don't know why I'm describing what a countdown is as if you don't know, but it plays the exact same sound that the original Modern Warfare 2 had. It's awesome. It's really cool. I wish that this was just a setting in the game, just like the hit marker sounds, where you go into audio and you could choose between the original Modern Warfare and the current Modern Warfare 2019 hit marker sounds. You could choose between those, but you can't choose between this without pulling out your wallet. I just think that's a little ridiculous, man. Like, how about instead of charging $20 for this, you give us Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer Remastered for $20. I would buy that. I'm sure it exists somewhere, honestly, but why would they do that when they could just drip feed content of these Modern Warfare 2 maps uh, or sell them in Modern Warfare 3 2023 it's like they're going to probably you know drop all that game and it's going to have a bunch of Modern Warfare 2 maps because that makes sense Modern Warfare 2 maps in Modern Warfare 3 anyways though this is just something that I wish was free like I said it should have been a tribute to the original Modern Warfare 2 because that's basically what it was um, there's a whole bunch of classic things like the hacked emblem which is kind of cool to name that because of the fact that if you weren't around in Modern Warfare to the original one basically the only way to get this emblem this spinning prestige 10 emblem was to literally unlock all and cheat the game <laughs> like that's that's the only reason there was no official way to unlock it which is really crazy i guess they just forgot to add something some way to unlock it i don't exactly know the story behind it i kind of forgot i don't even know if we ever had a real story but i just remember hearing things back in the day as to why that was the case either way though uh 
Uh, there was no way to officially unlock it, so the only way to get it, like I said, is to cheat. And they are acknowledging that. That's kind of cool. That's like a tribute. But here's the thing. A tribute doesn't work when it's literally <laughs> behind a $20 bundle. It's just a slap in the face to us classic players, if we're being completely real. Like, they're trying to be all nostalgic, but at the same time, they're saying, pull out your wallet. So it's just, it's just, a th anyways. It's kind of cool. It's got some extra stuff, but it's something that should not have been a thing. It just shouldn't have been a thing. And it, it, at the very least, though, could you have not added the original animations for reloading? If they did that, the reload animations for these weapons, honestly, I'm going to be real, you might get even the $20. But it's not happening at all now because they did the bare minimum for these weapons they just literally got default weapons pretty much and added some sounds that don't sound very much like the originals even though they're trying to be which is crazy that they are trying to do that as if you couldn't just copy paste it but i don't know it just it would have been cool to see the acr reload animation or the mp5 reload animation and i'm sure they would have made more of these or they will make more of these throwback packs in the future and if they had a whole bunch of these weapons with the original reload animations, the original sounds too, that would be pretty cool. Also, another thing though, I will say this, there's another downside. Um, you have to be using these blueprints apparently, from what I heard, I don't know, I don't own them. But you have to be using these blueprints in order to, to hear the, the original killstreak sounds, which... Why, man? Like, you should have, at the very least, when you buy this, you should get an option in the settings to change that, like, so that you can have it, no matter what weapon you have, if you really wanted to, but nope, you have to use these certain weapons, it's Activision, of course, they don't do anything nice for the community, unless it offers them money, uh, which I would be fine with if we were talking about, like, an actual full-on remaster or something, but, uh, nope, that's not the case, but anyways, let me know what you think about this, alright, so next thing I just want to talk about real quick, just uh, a little update, I'm not going to make a whole video on it, because there's not too much to talk about here, but the Black Ops Cold War exploit it's a little update. Activision did mention the fact that they are aware of it and looking into it, which is good. Finally, after days of them just doing nothing, saying nothing, they were doing something clearly because they sent the cease and desist to the people who make the cheat and use the exploit in their cheat tool. Uh, so that's good. They can't distribute it anymore. And if it gets patched, they can't work on it to get it working in the next patch. Uh, but right now, it's still not safe. Anybody who has downloaded it already, at, you know, bought their cheat or whatever, they still have it available to them and it's not patched just yet as of the making of this video. So it's still out there. It's still available. It's not patched yet. But once they patch it, it should be good for at least a while until someone finds something else. It's some new cheat tool that didn't get a cease and desist yet. I don't know. Either way, at least Activision is using their cease and desist for something good for once instead of just using it to shut down the community and their fan-made projects. But anyways, this is going to wrap up this video. If you guys enjoyed it, like would be greatly appreciated. If you're new here and you like videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.